What do you do when you get like a $2,000 new gun? Well, I immediately start modifying it. So today I'm going to add this little piece of pick rail to the bottom of my Maverick chassis so that I can mount a sling on it because this is going to be my hunting setup. So I've already checked the, let me get more in the light here. So I've already checked and there's a nice little recessed area in there. And I looked at the trigger components and they do not, they're, they're up there pretty high. So if I mount that pick rail in here with some lower profile hardware, it shouldn't affect anything. So what I'll do is I'll measure the distance. We will measure twice, cut once, drill two holes in that, and we'll mount a pick rail. And let's see how this project goes. So hopefully you can see that. I've carefully marked the 40 millimeter distance between those two holes, and now it's gonna get the drill press. All right, so there it is complete, held in with red Loctite, which is of course the most gangster of all the Loctites. And it looks really, really good. Perfect. Okay, with it all said and done, turned out really nice. And now you can mount a QD sling swivel adapter on there and get a sling on this thing because it's gonna be a hunting rifle. So very, very nice little mod. And that is it complete. Not the ideal length between the two sling swivels, so carrying it with the barrel pointed upwards and slung is not really happening. But you can carry it over your back, pointed down, or in front of your chest, uh, ready for action in the field, which is nice because, you know, carrying a 12-pound rifle after a while, if you've hunted with a big PCP after a while, it does get a little tiring. So having the ability to sling it is cash money.